Hi everyone, let's have a bit more fun with the heat press, shall we? Now I bought a couple more products which you can use for sublimation if you do sublimation printing. And we're just going to have a look at these products now. This is the first time I've ever done them. So I'm just showing you that I'm a learner in this case with these two products. I've never used them before. And I'll show you how we can actually get some new products in our range uh, to make some more income. The two products I'm talking about, one is the sublimation jigsaw puzzles. Now they come flat packed like this. These ones are A4 size ones. Let's get a bit nearer so you can actually see them. Now as you can see, they're both around the A4 size, just under the A4 size. This one's a 60 piece and this one's a 30 piece. And as I say, they come back in a flat packed uh, cellophane wrapped container uh, backed with a, uh, a hard balled case. So these you can get cardboard ones, but these ones are the actual um, the wooden ones. So that's what we're going to be using. And we'll also have a go with these two items. Again, two bibs for sublimation. I suppose you could put transfers on them as well, and also vinyls on these. They're only cheap items to buy, so we'll have a go with them as well. Now, as far as the jigsaw puzzles are concerned, uh, as I say, I think I measured them and I've allowed 25 and a half centimetres long by 18 centimetres high for the image and that gives me about half of a centimetre all the way around so I'll show you, how to, you can get tricky once you take the cellophane wrap it because you don't want the jigsaw puzzle to fall apart obviously but I'll just show you how I've decided to do this and I think it's probably the easiest way so we'll just wait for the heat press to come up to temperature and then we'll give it a go okay so what we've got here are two images on A4 paper these are sublimation paper and this is sublimation ink it's not standard inks so you have to have sublimation inks to do this procedure so all I'm going to do is cut around these images and as I said to you the jigsaw puzzle size I've left half a millimetre, half a centimetre uh, all the way around and that works out at 25.5 across for the image in width and 18 centimetres in height. So all I'm going to do now is just cut out the image going right around the edge of the picture so that we don't leave any white paper marks and you do that to all four sides. As I say, the, the main thing is, is getting the image size correct. And it makes just lining up a whole lot easier because uh, that is where most problem people get problems when they try to line these things up. And the jigsaw puzzle can be, if you do it wrong, quite an awkward thing to move about. So I'll just sit through these now and see you on the other side. Right, so there we go, there's our two images cut out, exact size, so what we need to do now is just to prepare the jigsaw puzzle for sublimation. Now as I said, these come in um, 30 piece or 60 piece, they come cellophane wrapped and they're on a cardboard background. So all you've got to do is carefully just remove the plastic film around it. The main thing you want to do is obviously not disturb the jigsaw puzzle too much. So, once you've done the cellophane and got rid of that, and then we'll be okay. As you can see, just remove the plastic there, get rid of that. Now it's still on the cardboard backing. So what I'm going to do now, is transfer it over to the heat press and I've actually got a Teflon coat on the heat press heat press, I could be, on the heat press to make make it easy to move things about so we'll just put this over now onto the heat press as you can see moving on its card is very easy 
a lot of people can mess about with this and they try to put the um, photo on first and all sorts of things can happen so I just place that onto there like that onto the jigsaw puzzle and just literally gently slide it off so it's now sitting purely on the Teflon coat so just strain it up and just basically push the bits together now like any media like t-shirts for example that you sublimate wood will hold moisture so all I'm going to do initially is just cover that with another smaller Teflon sheet prior to me putting the picture on and just gently hold it down and I'm going to do normally you give a five second burst for a t-shirt to take the moisture out but because this is wood I'm going to give it a 20 second blast so that's 10 seconds gone best to do this as I say because you don't want moisture affecting your um, your image there's 20 seconds okay so I'll just leave that for a second to cool down because we don't want to actually put the uh, image on while it's still hot but as you can see that was very easy sliding that off of that cardboard back in onto the uh, Teflon coating now you could I suppose leave that underneath and just sit everything on there but the trouble with the hard uh, the cardboard backing is that will obviously retain a lot of moisture as well so best to get that out of the way and I would suggest doing it the way that I've just done it there now I'm going to take an image let's take uh, let's take the big uh, Georgie boy that's my grandson I caught him there lovely uh, he don't like spinach well he does like spinach actually but I just he was more surprised by the flash actually so now I'm not going to bother sticking this down at all all I'm going to do is to place the image so it hangs over the edges this is why you have a little bit of hangover and then put the teflon coating on top I've not even bothered to um, hang that down as you know and I'm now going to press it for a minute 60 seconds okay there we go so this is going to be very hot as I said don't don't forget take the puzzle off and there we go one lovely sublimated jigsaw puzzle now what I want to do don't forget is put it back onto the hardboard now so all you do is just hang that over the edge of your plan turn and don't forget the jigsaw puzzle is going to be hot and literally just slide it along and you put it back on like that onto your now I've done this while it's hot don't forget but if I put that down there and there you go there's one it's still hot at the moment but what a lovely little jigsaw puzzle that is it's a lovely glossy surface let me just let me just show you a bit nearer now as you can see the quality of that is absolutely lovely very lovely let me try and get low to it on very lovely and glossy so that's Trace's daughter. Yeah, Trace, what do you think of that, Sharon? It's actually my son, not my Oh, it's just, it's just son. That's Tracy, my daughter, and you know Sharon anyway. Sharon, what do you think of that? Now, will that, will that sell? Yes. Tracy, what do you think oh, of that? Oh, yeah. Your little soldier. I mean, not everyone's going to want a picture of your little soldier. I know that, but... Um, it's nice uh, for the kids will. to learn yeah, as it's, well. It's going to be hot, but what I'm saying is, is that I've done your one in the bigger size, because George is obviously younger, and we're going to do the, the cheeky monkey one, which is my other... Uh, my, granddaughter. granddaughter. My, my, my other grand, yeah, my granddaughter. That one is Your sorry. Only granddaughter. My only granddaughter <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, they're laughing at me again, people. So, but as you can see from the paper, you see the quality of the paper. Now that looks very faint and in it, shell. Yeah. That doesn't look very good quality at all. But once you actually activate the inks on the sublimation, I'm sure. Can, I, can, I, can you see the gloss on that? I'm not too sure where you can. Right? Okay. Absolutely great. But the place to sell these is on Facebook. Now, lucky enough, Sharon and my daughter's got uh, Tracy. I call her Tracy. Let's not call her my daughter. Let's not be formal. Oh, thanks. Why don't you call me Dave? <laughs> let's um, trigger. Let's just say that they've got two Facebook profiles, and there's they're always buying and selling stuff and baby stuff, and there's loads of people post their images on there, isn't there, girls? Yes. Yes. So we're going to utilise Facebook on your two profiles, and you'll get the word out and spread this because I haven't got a load of women in my profile, as you know. You haven't got a load of friends. I haven't got a load of friends. Okay, point made. <laughs> So what we're going to do, I'm just going to press the other one now, but can you see what you can do with, and I think I paid about £3.50 £3. I think for that template, I'm not too sure. So 
I'm just going to do the other one now, and sh uh, well, I'll show you that as well. Yeah, I'll show you me doing that one as well. So the main thing to remember here is to get the thing off of the plastic first. I find that the easiest way to go. Once you've done that, just transport the whole thing over to the heat press. Once you're on the heat press, you want to remove it from the cardboard base. So do that gently just by pushing the jigsaw off. Be, be precise when you do it. Don't fiddle about and uh, try and do it very, very carefully because you'll end up um, obviously making a mistake and possibly breaking the jigsaw up and having to put it back together again. Just push the bits together, cover it with the Teflon sheet and just give it a quick 20 second blast. Again, I'm just holding the handle down. I'm not putting really any pressure on it at all. This is purely to get the moisture out of the wood. That's all you're doing here. There we go, so I've just lifted that up. I'm going to let it cool down for a second, as I told you. Now, one thing to note here is that when, when you see other people do this, they'll, they'll turn this over off of, off of the actual heat. I won't do any work on the heat press. They'll try and stick down the, uh, the, the cover sheet, not the cover sheet, the, uh, the picture with uh, heat tape and all that, and then try and gently flip it over and all that. You don't want to mess about with all that. The, the way that I'm showing you is a way where you've got to be precise when you do it. You've got to be positive when you're actually doing it, like when you're sliding it off the car. The car don't lift it up too high because the jigsaw will fall to pieces, so hold it as near to the car, uh, the, the planter, as you can. And literally, one position, slide it off. Just slide it off quickly like that. Now, a lot of people who have got these type of presses realise that the heat source is actually above you. If you've got a swing away uh, heat press, then you're in a better situation because the next part, laying the um, transfer on top, not the transfer, like, like laying the sublimation paper on top, if you try and fiddle about it too long, the heat source will actually curl up this and you'll, you'll have troubles lining it up. So it's a matter of being precise when you do it, so go straight to it, put it on there, like that, starting to curl up. Now I'm not too worried about it, get the transfer, the Teflon coat, push it over the top, make sure you're in the right position and then we're going to push it down now for a minute at quite heavy pressure right we've been cooking for a minute take the teflon sheet off in the picture and there we go jigsaw puzzle done a couple of little bits of try to jump out but that's not a problem now again i'm going to be doing this hot you could obviously just leave it there and let it cool down but all you need to do then is just to is get your backing card which it come with and literally just slide the jigsaw puzzle pretty firmly don't mess about with it onto the card and there you have it there's another cheeky monkey jigsaw puzzle for uh, a proud parent grandparent whatever again super quality that is the 60 piece one as you know probably for an older child or grandparent or whatever or even just for yourself if you like to mess about so that is it that's jigsaw puzzles very simple to do and You'll, I'm sure you'll, you'll make a lot of money doing these if you're selling them in the right place using the free media, which is Facebook. So, that's them. Left on. No, turn it off. You're not turning the bibs? Be careful. I will do the bibs. I think I'll do the bibs in another video. Now, what do you think of them then? Lovely. What are you going to do? Are you going to advertise them for me? Yes. yes. And are you going to actually do the jigsaw yourself? I have in a minute. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> We're going to mix them all together. So we're going to be advertising these using the free media, which is Facebook. Is that correct? Yes. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it's a simple tool, a heat press. It doesn't only just do T-shirts. You can do other things like this as well. And provided you've got people to distribute, is that the word? Distribute them for you. Advertise them for you. Using the free media of Facebook. Like I've got two uh, uh, young ladies here who are one a bit older than the other. <laughs> One's the mother of the other, and I'm the father, by the way. <laughs> Have a guess which one's which. Well, you're the mother. I'm, I'm the, the mother, father. yeah. <laughs> so, have a go. Try jigsaw puzzles. Anyway, folks, that's enough for the day. I'll do the bibs another day. I've, I've worked myself into a frenzy now. So, say to our girls. Bye. Bye, girls. Bye, bye. See you later. Please, <laughs> 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 with it.